Hey you, I'm so glad you're here. We're going to be adding adventure and play to your day by making a witchy cauldron houseplant planter because it is now spooky season. And what a way to kick it off by making something spooky. And I really love spooky season so much. I'm so excited. It's definitely one of my favorite seasons. And I'm going to be making this little planter, spooky planter, for my friend Isabel because her birthday is coming up. And she also really loves spooky season. So I think that she'll really, really love it. And full disclosure, my idea originally was to make a cauldron tea mug. I had to pivot and be flexible and change my idea, which I will, you'll see in the video, um, because I decided not to edit that part out because sometimes you have an idea and then you realize you can't really go in that direction or there's pieces of it that might not actually work the way you thought and then you have to be flexible. And that's part of the adventure too, so why edit out part of the adventure? So that's going to be in there. Roll the footage! Right. I... I... I will roll the footage. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I got the clay in the mail. I decided to go with the company Cropped because I really love their mission. It is get out of your head and into your hands, which I freaking love because I feel like nowadays it's just so easy to get caught up in your thoughts and what's going on. And um, it's really important to take a moment to get into the present and a wonderful, amazing way to do that is by making things. <laughs> I think anyone can do that. And I think it's fun and amazing that that's their mission. And so I was like, all right, I'm totally gonna get clay from them because yeah, I want to promote that. And so I got the clay and I got some paints, although for this, since it's a cauldron, it's just going to be black. But I'll save the paints for later. For now, we're going to be making a cauldron mug for my friend Isabel. And I got this really comfy jacket with her, um, which I love and it's so cozy. And so I was like, I should wear this while I make it. <laughs> so let's check out the inside. Now let's set your mind free. So it looks like we got clay, like another bag of clay. We got cute little tools and clay breakers so you can really connect with yourself or connect with others while you're creating which i really love dirty hands clear mind and it looks like it comes with some instructions all right okay so realizing that air drying the clay will not it'll not be food safe that way means that I'm going to have to pivot. The key to mental health is flexibility. And so we're gonna pivot. And I think I'm just going to make a cauldron planter for a house plant. And uh, yeah, it's all good. We gotta flex. It'll be fun. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Let's go. Here's the original sketch uh, when it was a mug. So I'm going to take off the handle part and the spoon. And then I think if I have the time to go plant chopping, I might try to find one of those. I don't remember what it's called, but the succulent that kind of are like those little beads, those little balls that kind of tumble out of the pot. Cause I think that could kind of look like a witch's brew. So I might keep the witch's brew if I can find that plant. I think that'd be really cool. And then I know that cauldrons still do have handles. Sometimes they have those kind of round ones on the side or sometimes they have like a little to kind of pick it up. So I might put that on it too. 
So it is time to resketch because we are pivoting, because we are being flexible, going with the flow. I think this is still a really awesome idea. I think she's still going to really love it. And we're gonna we're gonna get to it. We're gonna flex. Go pivot. Let's go. So I did the sketch, re-sketched it. So it is ready to be a planter now for a plant. I think I'm going to go on a little quest to find a plant for it now before I start making it and see if there's anything that strikes my fancy that looks like witch's brew to some extent. And so we're gonna go do that now. All right, I'm back and I found this little buddy. So no, it's not the pearl succulent, but I feel like this does what I was envisioning where it's kind of like a brew that's boiling over. And so I think this is the perfect little plant to put in our cauldron planter that we are going to make. So I'm really excited that I, I found this one. All right, so the first step is making the pinch pot. So they have learning the basics right on here. And so you first roll it into a ball of clay and then you push your thumb into the center of it. And then you slowly pinch the base upward and spin the ball in your hand, in my hand. So I think that's what we're gonna do then. That's how we're gonna start it. Sounds easy enough. I think we can do this. Let's go. It's a little bit <laughs> chubbier than I was imagining, but I mean, it's kind of cute though, that way. I think it's about four inches, let's see. Ye kind of, it's a little smaller than, well on one side it's smaller than four inches <laughs> to make it rounder, there we go. I think this is about the right size for the plant, right? I think that's about the right size. I think it'll fit inside. And so now I think I'm going to score the top, put that lip on it so it looks more like a cauldron. <laughs> this tiny little cauldron. I think I just gotta smooth it out a tiny bit more, but I think I'm getting the effect that I wanted. And so it's turning out, I'm so excited. And then I guess next, maybe I will make the, make, I should make a hole, right? For the drainage. I'll make a hole for the drainage. I'll put the little feet as cauldrons have. And then, or should I put the things on the cauldron first? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I am going to do the side, put the things on the sides first, and then I'm going to do the bottom. And then hopefully there's enough left to do a tray. because you don't want the water to just go everywhere. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs>
sandals on. Aren't they cute? So, they are tiny. They're looking cute. I think I gotta put it here. A plaque that says Witch's Brew. Yeah. show you. <laughs> Look at the little feet. I got a drainage hole. I even have I love you Isabella on the bottom. I this is so cool. I freaking love this. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Um, I think now I am just going to smooth it out a little bit more. And then I think it says I need to let it dry for two days. And then after that I can paint it. So I think this is all I can do for now other than smooth it out a little bit because it still needs a little bit of polish. Uh, they recommend a sponge, but I do not have a sponge with me, so I'm just going to do with the best with what I got. <laughs> Look how cute! So cute! Oh, I totally forgot, I have to make a tray. Alright, I'll make a tray, smooth it out. And then I'm done. later and so it is dry as you can see it kind of changed color it's like this lighter color and I have this with it so it's going to look like this and so now it is time for the painting it's time to paint because it is two days later I have some black paint which I'm going to be using and I read and it says that you have to have kind of a white base layer so I'm going to paint it first in white and then paint it over in black and then I'm thinking maybe for the plaque I'm going to make it um, kind of like a brown color and then for the screws I'm going to try to make a gray color yeah, so that it looks like metal, or has the essence of metal. And then with the brown, it's kind of a light brown, so maybe I'll make it darker by putting some black in it. 
we'll see. I'll mix and see how it, how it feels. And then for the base, I think I'm going to put, make it, I don't know if I should make this black too or brown and then in the middle have it be like orange. Yeah, I'm going to put maybe orange, red, yellow or something in here to kind of give off the sense that it's like a cauldron on something hot, on a flame. Like it's brewing something. And so, yeah. Let's get to the painting. painting it. Oh my gosh, look at the little plaque with the little nails and I think it looks so good. Oh my gosh. And I have painted this too and I have the very abstract essence of fire <laughs> with and I decided to go with brown because it's like it's the wood I guess right and so it goes on top like this and you can kind of whoops you can kind of see the the fire the fire the essence of fire underneath i think that looks really cool so all i have left to do is put a coat over of sealant so that it kind of seals <laughs> The sealant seals. The sealant seals the, the paint and everything in so that it's all good to go. And then after that, I'm going to put the tiny plant inside. I'm going to repot it so that it's all ready to go. Like, so good. Let's keep going. repotted the little plant and so here it is <laughs> look at it it's like a little brew boiling over it looks so cute it's so amazing it's amazing it's amazing Whoa. oh my gosh i love it it looks so good and i have the base and Voila. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks so good. I think she's going to love it. So I think I'm going to give it a little bit of a water. And yeah, we're good to go. We did it. High five. <laughs> So much for making a cute little spooky season witch cauldron planter with me today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that 
you enjoy spooky season and I hope you maybe create something spooky during this time. And if you do, let me know what you make or if you want to make a little cauldron planter as well. I had so much fun making this. It is so cute. Um, I definitely would like to make more planters probably and other things made out of clay. It was really nice and I definitely got out of my head and into my hands. So I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week, and I will catch you on the flippity flip. Bye! Yesterday.